Hello and welcome to another segment of Airspace. The program dedicated to showing that being over 50 can be the same side of life. My name is Karen Hefner, I'm your host, and our guest today is M.W. Penn. Welcome. Welcome. Um, you're an author, a author, and um, your specialty is very interesting because it's not and poetry. It's not poetry, poetry, right? And poetry is a way of interesting them in that. And of course, the two are interconnected because of the um, dependent and order and um, meter of symmetry, which is on mathematics. Right. So you don't really deal, unlike most people, you don't deal so much with the you know, memorizing something or whatever. You really deal with the concept of math so that children can understand the concept. You know, it's going to be similar ideas of mathematics. Pattern and order and symmetry, number. It's I enjoy it. Are you just saying about are you were telling me just about odd and even? And you know something new about that? Yes, but um, it was in one of my books I have um, two characters who are even in um, in this book is a um, yes, okay. and governess and um, Oscar Odd is the odd job man and the one likes even numbers and one likes odd numbers and so there's a bit of contention there. And, um, and you go through a lot of discussions about odds and evens. Two odds will give you an even number. Adding two evens will give you an even number. And you have to add an even and an odd number to get an odd number. Right. And, right. Right. and that's something as simple as that. It helps you check your math facts. And um, it teaches a lot. Remembering that odds are odd, lots of odd numbers makes you remember the odd numbers. Let's just talk a little bit about how you started doing this. Because you're originally a mathematician and then computer. Yeah. Yeah, I started out writing computer software and then had children, and that was a very demanding job. So I um, sort of segued into writing software manuals and then got a reputation as a technical writer and actually wrote Architectural Stone for several years. Became fascinated with Architectural Stone. And in fact, I'm writing an article right now about Architectural Stone under deadline. Um, and from that, decided that. I would like to go back into math, but perhaps math for children who do not have a lot of experience in math education. So I went back to study math education and was getting a bit discouraged. And then my husband said to me one day, Well, I don't know why you're doing this, you're a writer. And, you know, it didn't tell me that I had become a writer mm -hmm. over, mm -hmm. over several different different careers. And um, so I thought I would try to write math for young children. And we were always around in our house, my daughters and I were always, you know, teasing each other. It was so long. Uh -huh. So um, it was just a natural thing to do. Yeah. Is there anything else that you haven't done that you'd really like to do? I can jump out of an airplane. I don't think it's really like it. I always think it's something interesting to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> and I didn't really want to talk to you. <laughs> So much. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining us. Please remember that when you're in love with your life, you are ageless.